Hey all, welcome to the DuckTales Remastered playthrough for the Wii U version we're playing. I'm Harry, playing as well. I'm Stephen. I'm Chris. Hey guys, it's Joe. And that was surprisingly underwhelming compared to some of your other intros, Joe. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's, uh, it was only intro sometimes. <laughs> Letting us down. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, this is a remake of the NES game about DuckTales, which I don't like that original version of the game, just because of variety of reasons, including the design yeah. Choice, as well as the fact that some of the enemy placements are a bit cheap, but this remake of it is a lot of fun in my eyes, and I was actually really surprised that I enjoyed it as much as I did. And yeah, the title theme here is just a remix of the 8-bit version of the main theme, so it's kind the of like sounds quite cool actually. Yeah, it sounds quite remix. Yeah. yeah. So the actual Ducktales theme, as biased as I am against Disney, the Ducktales theme is a really good song. Yeah. But, yeah. I'm surprised you're playing this because how much you hate Disney. Yeah, I think it's well, just a good game. Uh, I'm just fair enough. If yeah. you like it, you like it, isn't it? Yeah, I just quite. It's because you love Capcom. So. <laughs> I love Capcom. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> not the way they've been treating Mega Man. <laughs> God, no, yeah. not, not with Mega Man. No, this is the kind of thing that. Uh, Capcom do in between pissing off Devil May Cry fans and hating Mega Man. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, as much it's as like, I, yeah, this is our offering of peace to just take it so you like, calm down after like, then we'll make cry. Yeah, as much as I love the DMC reboot, which, no, is, another, like it, to be honest. which is another like chance for me to piss off people for another day. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, this game is actually developed by WayForward, who did all the Mighty Switch Force games on the 3DS and Wii U. Which are actually interesting puzzle games. They're not really my kind of thing, to be honest, but they're still quite a bit of fun. Yeah, we know that you like the puzzles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> won't go any further. Yeah, like out of that whole 25 minutes. Is there a full warning? Is there any puzzles in this? That you uh, not off the top of my head there. Oh, right. There's a one level in particular where I think I get lost. <laughs> you get lost? <laughs> well, this game is quite non linear in terms oh, okay. of some of the other levels, in that you that's one of the changes they made between the NES version and this, actually. Yeah. In the, there's a lot more kind of scouting around for like different objectives in this game. Oh. Which is it's okay, but this is my biggest criticism with this game. Yeah. The amount of cutscenes in the middle of the levels. There's nothing that breaks the pace more than be like plowing along through a level and suddenly cutscene for no real reason. So you wouldn't uh, like Metal Gear Solid series then? <laughs> Hey, I love that film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, what are our thoughts on DuckTales as a series? Um, I can understand why people liked it at the time, but compared to stuff now, it's nothing special, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I kind of get... I tried watching a bit of the DuckTales series just to get a bit of flavour for doing this playthrough. Yeah, that fucking voice acting. I think most people like it because of like the nostalgia card, like it was yeah. like what they liked in their childhood. But there was it's probably because uh, it was better than other shows that were on at the time. But I mean, there has been better shows since then. Like even yeah. like maybe if you can include anime, like in um, in the nineties, like um, Dragon Ball Z. Everything. Like <laughs> yeah. yeah. Essentially, yeah. Yeah, see, my biggest problem with the DuckTales TV series is the voice direction. Like, the voices, they've got the original voice cast for the most part in this game, but the direction seems a lot better, it's a lot tamer on how... When like, did this originally come out? Late 80s, wasn't it? What, the game or the series? Series. That was 80s, I don't know yeah. what, the exact year, but... What yeah. yeah. about you, Steve, because you haven't said much. <laughs> I've got no preference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This, we're so well, glad you're here. <laughs> what I'm going to say, this is backtracking in this video game. Yes. Like, when you've got to get the stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's... It's good backtracking. It's not so much... Yeah. Well, there's a bit of backtracking in some levels, but it's more a case of fine things. Or, um, yeah. I know, I'm joking. Like, yeah. yeah. Do the jewels really contribute to the game in any way? To currency? Yeah, it's currency you can like buy add-ons and well not add-ons but like unlockables like there's music and concept art and whatnot. And I am slightly kleptomaniac with the you know, treasures in this game. Yeah, that's alright. 
and you, we've seen already a few times where I, one appears and then I go out of my way to go back for it. And I love that little animation there. <laughs> yeah. Now, these nephews here, I can never remember which one's which. This one, Dewey, Dewey. is... Yeah. Louis the green one, I think. Is he? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> the third one, cold. It's they don't have Louis any personalities, and... even in games, so there's not, not no, much to say about them. They're literally just the kids, and yeah. I hate their voices in the main series. It's a little bit restrained here, but in the TV series, it's just every character except for Scrooge just speaks in such a high-pitched voice, it gets really great in. Yeah. And I know they do that to like make it kiddie-friendly and whatnot, but this is a much better approach to it, I think. Because it's more reserved, yet the characters are still kind of distinct. Mm. It's also worth pointing out that Alan Young, the voice actor of Scrooge, I believe he was 93 at the time of recording it, yeah. and he does his voice so much clearer now than he did years back. <laughs> yeah, even then he was like probably about 70 or something like that. Well, he's quite an old man at that point. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. yeah I am going out of my way to get the hidden <laughs> treasures here. Yeah, I probably shouldn't advance if I'm wasting our time with a lot of this stuff, but I just have this habit when I'm playing through a game with collectibles to go and collect things if I see them. Yeah, if yeah. I was playing this game I would do that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I haven't done an all-ring run of Sonic yet, so let's <laughs> be thankful for that. And yeah, if in case you noticed at the start, yeah, I am playing this on easy. The only real difference is, is that I think Easy gets the invincibility we just saw here and you get a few more health upgrades and you don't have lives in Easy. And that's just, I'm playing that because I hate the life systems, I find it kind of redundant these days. Hold on, lad. Yeah. I'll have you free in a jiffy. Not so fast, big jump. We're running big Beagle boys are a lot more tolerable in this than they were in the original one, I'm just going to leave Do they have lots of squeaky voices? <laughs> yes, <laughs> very yeah. much so. What, what animals are they? Uh, I think they're beagles. Beagles. <laughs> <laughs> beagles. You just what, said what? beagle boys. <laughs> it's a dog. You don't know what is a beagle is. <laughs> no, domestic dog. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> well, well, yeah, it's a wolf, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what animal is Scrooge McDuck? <laughs> uh, I think, uh, zebra, I, I think we need to look on Wikipedia. Uh, let me just look up Scrooge McDuck. What? I've got a suspicion inkling he might be a zebra. <laughs> you might be onto something there. <laughs> you know, I've always said I give up with DuckTales, so I just watch Mickey Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> this stage we're playing now, this wasn't in the original NES version. In the original one, it just literally gave you the five levels to pick from, and you just yeah, play them. Um, Whatever yeah. order you want, and you just done that. Seen a bit of the original. It was like a sort of screen. You just picked it and done it in order, didn't you? Yeah, you, like this. You get this once you've beat this level, but mm. it's just like an. Can intro you do stage. it in order, or do they sort of you recommend pick. a level for you to do? Well, I'm gonna be playing it in the order on the list, but I know some yeah. people. Like I was watching Clement's one of the original game, and he's going to get certain on the uh, items first, just to get more health and whatnot. Yeah. So. But because I'm a filthy casual, I'm just doing that as the game tells me. Uh, this boss is kind of pathetic, really. The moon although... is a uh, last level, in it? Well, it can be. Yeah. Like, you can go that first if you want. It's a kind of pathetic boss, but I well, keep I'm, getting I mean, like, last on the list. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> it is kind of the atmospheric place. And how did yeah. that hit me? <laughs> I love how this guy's playing this literally chuck something then run to the middle, so I can <laughs> drop a safe on his head. <laughs> this guy's a bit high-pitched, but at least again, the direction, he's not overplaying high-pitched, it's just a character with a high-pitched voice. Now why in the world was he interested in this old painting? Surely there are more valuable... Oh shit. Well, pluck me pin feathers. I love how like, he isn't particularly taken back by the fact that his painting's just transformed or anything. But that's the sort of thing you'd react a bit more distinctly to that, wouldn't you? Yeah. Just like regular things in him. <laughs> yeah. Like, random things just transforming. I have no idea what's going on, but it's not good. Good gadgets. Yeah. How much did this cost? Batman or something. He's like, yeah, he's got, he's got Alfred, isn't he? Yeah. 
All he needs is a backhoe. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta love how whenever they show computers and anything like this, you just gotta have like num random numbers cycling on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could at least like do binary just to be a bit more kind of in your face. No, I think, I can't remember whether it was binary or some other code, but there's one little hidden message in Sonic Colors on the like, little tape machine iPad thing Tails carries around, which translated to something like, if you can read this, you're a geek. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of them times when I think the in-game cutscenes don't do all that, because like, they're telling story here, but it's literally just a bunch of sprites standing around. Yeah. I can't think if they had a bit more time they could have like made like animated sequences for it. But yeah, I know. It's, uh, it's not really a biggie. <laughs>